once you have installed the Eventbrite plugin, you need to obtain the API key. To do this, you need an Eventbrite account. If you haven't already got an Eventbrite account, you need to set one up. The plugin will only display Eventbrite events that you have direct access to through your account. Once you're logged in, we go down to account settings. And from account settings, you need to go to developer link. And if we expand developer links, we will see there's API keys. We click the button create API key. Now there are lots of mandatory fields, but we can just um, put anything we like in here. You may want to put specific details. If you like to actually um, determine, or so you can remember what the uh, key is for. But these details make absolutely no difference to the generation of the keys. So basically, I filled in all the mandatory fields with things that are irrelevant. I tick the read terms and conditions box and I click create key. And it is as simple as that. If we then click on this key area, show API key, the one we're interested in is called private token. Now Eventbrite do have a habit of changing the names of these things. So we copy the private token and we go back to our Eventbrite settings page and we paste that in to the private token area. The next step is we have to save that and we save that and if all is well the settings will be saved. If for some reason you've copied the incorrect key or made a mistake, I'll just demonstrate. If we go and try and change the key, API, API private token failed, OAuth you provided was invalid. And there's a link to how to find that. So basically, that's it. We take the private token key. We set it up into the settings page. And we save it. And once the save comes up green at the top, we know that our API key is valid.